unfortunate. Went over quite a bit. Yeah, that, that wandered a bit more than I wanted it to. Started about halfway through. The other ones didn't do that, that's odd. Just a second. It'll take some fine tuning, that's for sure. Well, either way, a lot of my viewers have expressed almost annoyance that I'm pushing this bandsaw so far, but we haven't even gone to the extent of how far I want to push this little bandsaw. And I kind of just, I was going to make a video of making this, but I just kind of did it. It's basically a skid that goes over, well, it's a skid that goes over the entirety of the, the bandsaw table because, well, I've never seen anyone do anything like this because they use the track, but they end up with like this dinky little half thing that they have a hard time putting on the, the bandsaw table. But why not just use the entire table as a track, you know? And then all I could figure out was to have a few screws in this board, and then it kind of holds on like a triangle almost, and those, those screws are kind of pressed, pressed down. And then just have these on there. Seems to work well enough. But it is worrisome about how that just went over really far. But I mean, this band saw it was really low quality. I can't really move this very much because this entire thing is bent backwards. So it kind of it's skewed a lot. Like I can actually see how far it's skewed, which is unfortunate. Whoever drilled this hole didn't do a very good job but I want to cut some more some more lumber this is white oak this blade has been giving it very poor a finish but I might still be able to use it for something this two tooth wrench blade has been giving a very rough finish like wow is that rough I don't know why it does that but it's yeah it's could be useful if I uh, want to use it for like a gripping surface, like on the top of it to a step stool, but that's definitely not going to work for lumber. This other stuff came out a lot more uniform though, so it's good. You know, more uniform in thickness at least. Let's see about changing out this two tooth branch blade for my four tooth branch blade. Oh yeah, that's. I guess the spring died again, so I need to go even tighter. Okay, yeah. This spring on this thing, I've stretched it out and put it back in, and, it, and just the lightest amount of pressure just completely crunches the spring. So I've decided that the only way to go forward is to pretty much just entirely crunch that spring until it's basically just a cylinder and go from there. And then the springiness in the C shape is enough to keep it okay. But yeah it's this entire tensioning method is just garbage but it still works amazingly enough what's nice about this design is it's all centered around this board under here so if i wish to tune the uh, two edge boards which are just um, other floorboards cut in half, just enough to corral it around the bandsaw table. Oh, and I also took a, a candle and wiped a candle underneath there so it's nice and smooth. And uh, I might be able to just... Come on. 
right, here's some of the nicer ones. Oh. Okay. Oh, weird. For some reason, this is cut through this. Well, that must be Dolan Blades. Isn't our things weird? So I'm not going to care too much about it because it's obvious that it's terrible quality. But it's a good learning machine. Maybe once we learn how to finally get the most out of this machine, well then I can go and get a machine where everything actually lines up. I mean, that'd be nice. Actually, that'd be really nice. Just It's funny how much on this, just things just don't line up. You, you, you would kind of expect it. Like, like this, well, everything, nothing lines up on this. I've just... I've had enough of this stupid guard. It's I totally just made it the wrong way and it's never gonna work. This video might end up being a little bit disjointed because I have to take a break every few minutes to cool off. Oh, come on. Oh, whoops. So I'm probably not going to focus too much on making a video about this particular bandsaw sled because I'll probably make another one with what I learned from this one and so this one I'll just do videos of doing stuff with it not so much of like let's build a bandsaw sled. Now I went ahead and marked out the measurements of um, half inch, three quarter, one inch, one and a half, two inch, two and a half inch. And that way I can, oh, again with this fucking wood. <laughs> this thing's just falling apart, but it, it was, you know, it's made out of junk wood. So I can align up with that. The only thing I have to do is now that I've completely rebuilt this, I'll just go through and make sure that this lines up, which Actually, it does. That's good. Yep, it does. And if it didn't, I think I could tune it by just adjusting these in and out to grip it in a different way. Oh my god, this thing is falling apart. <laughs> downside to a bandsaw. It takes 30 minutes to change the blade. You just have to rip it all apart. If you didn't have so many darn like covers and stuff, it'd be easier.
back in May and now it's been about, what, four months? Because I decided to shelve this project because it's really hot in here and there's been a lot of issues. And instead, I experimented with cutting lumber with my chainsaw. I had a lot, a lot better luck with the white oak, which is surprisingly hard. I'm still kind of amazed by it. After I did that first test and cut these, I ran into a lot of issues trying to cut a big piece of oak. And uh, I got a little fed up and rage quit. The sled worked great, but it needs a little latch mechanism at the end. <coughs> Forgive me. In order to get it off, I had to either unscrew the end piece of wood or, well, what I did was I just got a little annoyed and just had the bandsaw on and pulled it through and cut the end off. So now it's open. But the idea being, I'll just get like a little latch. Like one of those little latches that are on toolboxes and they're like the thing that goes over and you and it tightens up. That should be good enough. And then I can I can add it, I can install it without having to rebuild it around the blade or whatever. The main issues with this were first of all the wooden riser block that I extemporized quickly is not stiff enough to tension the blade properly. <coughs> ah. All this junk in this workshop. I wasn't expecting so much dust in here. I left it pretty dirty. I should probably get some, like, um, um, dust collection. Because as soon as I came in here and started cleaning up this morning, it's just like dust everywhere. Anyway, so, it's not tensioned enough. And then also, the blade isn't deep enough. So I'm thinking, sawing something like this, might need a, a deeper blade because otherwise it just it pushes in and it bows in that direction or worse it starts twisting like with this piece it starts cutting off straight i'd like to move the uh the drive mechanism to a bigger motor and also gear drive so not a pulley system because, well, I recently picked up a gear a, a gearbox, and then I realized I have a few of them, so I might just sit on this for a little while and see what parts I find. But if not, it might just be the white oak is a bit too tough for this. I might, um... You know what I could do? I could cut things with the circular saw. No, the um, table saw. And that would get a pretty big amount of the wood cut away. And then I could just go over it again with this if it was too deep for the table saw. It's all ideas and I figure I will let this sit for a little while to tinker with it later. Even though it's been four months, I'm still tinkering with other tools. And um, Well anyway, I think that I haven't really seen anybody doing that sled idea the ones they, they have are just like really really tiny ones that sit, sit in the channel and they're like having a hard time holding it on like, why don't i make a bigger one that goes around the entire table so that idea is now out there and i hope you guys have a chance to try that as well while well, i just figure out the actual band saw part of this oh well <coughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this quick little, I guess, failed project, but not really failed, just a little, a little project that didn't turn into a big video like I hoped. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.